Kia ora, Revolution Fano. Hey, day two of our week of prayer. I want to tell you about what we're praying for together as a church. Again, I want to encourage you to take 10, 15, 20 minutes out of your schedule today. Make time to spend focused time to pray. We believe that when we gather to pray together, powerful things happen. Now, our prayer today is around unity. Two verses, John 17, 20. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray that those who believe in me and my prayer is also for those who believe in me and through their message that they all may be one, Father, just as you and I are one. John 13, 34. A new command I give to you, love one another. As I have loved you, you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples. Jesus' desire for his family is that we would live together in unity uh, and that our we would love one another so well, so profoundly, that it would become the greatest evidence that we are followers of Jesus. Not by our great programs, not by amazing our churches or our building or anything else other than simply the world would know because of how richly and profoundly we love one another. Well, however you know that that is a work of grace for us as a faith community to have that degree of love for one another, that degree of unity. And we want to pray into that today. So we're praying for one another. Uh, we're praying for our love for one another to grow. Uh, we're praying for those who feel disconnected to be knitted in in this next season. Uh, we're praying for a oneness of heart and mind. And let's pray for our connect groups today as well, that they would grow in this richness of loving one another in unity. Well, again, we have a prayer for today to be prayed as part of this time or several times during the day. It's called a prayer for grace. It goes like this. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.